Asa chuto uli kwa pani nani Na tuwabeshe babo kamoti nani Success knowledge tie pani Bela kubebo uwa wako ni sensor E tuta wabantu E tuta wabantu Uwa wako ni sensor E usa kama nabantu E usa kama nabantu Hi Fam In our exam preparation meant for today we are going to use mathematics paper 1 using 2021 paper 1 GCE and creating a self reliance under a topic called variation. Let's see how best you can answer a question. But mind you, variation is either direct, inverse, or joint variation. So there are two things involved. Let's see how best you are going to do this. And after the video, Make it your priority and target to simply grab a paper and relate the same concepts to some of the previous exam-based questions. Follow closely as we begin to share a few of the tips under variation. So here the question is saying, given that Z varies as X, when they say Z varies as x, it is as good as saying z varies directly as and inversely as the square of y. We should understand when they say square of y, when they say square of y, I mean they say square root. When they say square root, we are talking about this symbol. When they say square, we are talking about a power 2 or a letter raised to the power 2. Let's see how this we are going to understand this. And then we are saying A. Find the value of K, the constant variation. The first thing from the statement, let's try by all means to create an equational expression. So they are saying Z varies as X, which we are going to say Z varies as x. This means z varies directly as x and inversely. Inversely, that means this will become a fraction. So this will be over, that is y, but this will be raised to the power 2, which means inversely as the square of y. This is also the same as z varies directly as x, and inversely as the square of y. We can either put it in this way or in that direction. So we're going to proceed. We are now going to say z, where there is the variation symbol, we're now going to replace with an equal sign to make it an equation. Then we're going to simply replace with k, k will mean this is the actual letter connecting z, x, and y. So I'm going to say kx over y squared. Now we can answer a. So on k, they're trying to say find the value of k, the constant variation. Remember, the first and foremost values that are given are best said to help out in finding the value of k. So z is 3, x is 8, and y is negative 4. So z is 3. Then on k, we're going to replace k multiplied by the value of x is 8 and y is negative 4 multiplied by negative 4. Then this is going to be 3 equals 8 multiplied by k is going to give us 80k. Then negative and a negative are going to result in a positive. Well, we're going to say 4 multiplied by 4. This is going to give us this 16. Then we can now be able to cross multiply. You can reduce from here, or you can be able to cross multiply. We're going to say 8k multiplied by 1 is 8k, equals 3 times 16. Then, once the value of k, so divide by 8, then divide by 8. So, k equals 8 here, 1. 8 into 16, it's a 2. So, 3 times 2, so our value for k is 6. So, the value of k is 6. The first important thing, z was 3, the value of k was not given because it's a constant variation, whereas x was 8. And y is squared. Whatever we replace where y is should be replaced twice. So that means k equals 6. 
Make sure that the value of k is solved correctly because it is the decider of how wrong or correct the rest of the questions simply are going to be. So now let's go to the other questions. So our equation was z equals kx over y squared. So since you have the value of k, where there is k, we can now replace the correct value. This time around it is 6. So b, find the value of z when x equals 18 and y equals 3. So we want z, which we are going to say equals 6 multiplied by. We are saying let x be equivalent to 18. So where there is x, we are going to replace with 18 over. Remember, y is raised to the power 2, meaning its substitution will be replaced twice. So the value of y is 3 multiplied by 3. Then we are now going to say z because this is going to be 6 multiplied by 18 over 3 times 3 is going to give us a 9. So z is going to be 9 here, 1. 9 into 18, that's a 2. 6 multiplied by 2 are uh, the remains of this actual fraction. So z equals 6 multiplied by 2 is going to give us a 2. So that's the value for z. Remember, this is not how you are going to face the exam. This is just a narration or a utilization where at least possibly you could be able to use to create a self reliance to be self dependent enough on your own. So, z equals to 12. Now, we are going to go for c, which we are saying finds the values of y. Remember, even the word itself here is z, plural. That means we are finding two values of y. But this time around, they are saying z is 5, then x is 3. So here I'm going to replace with the 5, equals 6, then where there is the values of y, when x equals to 30, so I'm going to say 6 multiplied by 30 over then y, we're just going to replace it as y squared. Then I'm going to say over 1. Then I'm going to say this is the same as saying 5 times y squared. This is 5y squared, which is going to be equal to 6 multiplied by 30. If you want, you can simplify. So I'm going to say divide by 5, then divide by 5. Remember, this is the bar. I'm just trying to utilize the concept. So I'm going to find that this is going to be equal to y squared equals 5 here, 1. 5 here, it's going to give a 6. So 6 multiplied by 6 is going to give us 36. Our main area of interest is to find the value of y. So since it's raised to the power 2, how we can get rid of this 2 is to introduce a square root. There is an equal sign, meaning whatever we do, on the left is what should be done on the right. So we're also going to introduce a square. A square and the square root will cancel. So I'm going to say either y equals the square root of 36 is positive 6 or negative 6. So I'm going to say 6 or negative 6. So these were the answers to 2021 before GCE variation. You can use some of the questions from 2020, 2019 and some of the previous example-based questions in order to develop self-reliance. With the depreciating time that you are remaining with, what's more important is self-belief because you are the only person that knows your capabilities and knows yourself better than anyone else does. Always believe you can do it and be able to invest your time in self-reliance in order to image victoriously over each and every of the concepts you are going to be having and be able to apply in an exam. For now, it's a good time. As a tuta uli kwa pani nani Sensa Na tuwabe shiba waka mwati nani Sensa Success Knowledge Tia pani Bela kuwe babo Uwa wako ni sensa Hey tuta wabantu Hey tuta wabantu Uwa wako ni sensa